Thank you for joining Wars of the Roses as we continue with Lesson 23, Thou of Little Faith, of International Esoteric and Illumined Bible Lessons by R. Swinburne Clymer. International Esoteric Bible Lessons, prepared for the Sunday Schools of the Church of Divine Illumination, Matthew 14th Chapter, 22nd Verse to the Close. Golden Text, O Thou of Little Faith, Wherefore didst thou doubt? We cannot find one instance where Jesus sent anyone away. We read that he healed all. We read where he encourages us to bring the least that we have and make use of it. And we find him always giving others blessings, hope, peace, and health. On no occasion did he ever complain. We do not find one morbid, negative taint within him. He gave light and life and hope. There was no darkness in him at all. How many of us, in filling the multitudes, emulate him and light? Do we do all our work cheerfully? Do we send the least in the kingdom away hungry? Do we allow the minds to become boisterous and wild when the Christ can still them? The Christ within us. Verse 22, And straight away Jesus constrained his disciples to get into a ship, and to go before him unto the other side, while he sent the multitude away. Verse 23, And when he had sent the multitude away, he went up into the mountain apart to pray, and when the evening was come, he was there alone. Verse 24, But the ship was now in the midst of the sea, tossed with waves, for the wind was contrary. We are often sent out on the storm-tossed seas just to try our strength. When we bring our gifts to the Christ and are accepted and are able to feed multitudes, we are sometimes cast into greater channels to try our faith and strength. In fair weather, accepted and blessed, we need not fear, for we are always strong when we do not fear. But in the midst of the troubled seas, with the wind against us and the waves bearing down upon us, then is our strength tried. Then we find how strong or how weak we are. But once accepted and we give all we have, even though but small loaves and two fishies, the Christ will not leave us ever alone. 4. Verse 25. In the fourth watch of the night, Jesus went unto them, walking on the sea. No sea can be so rough and troubled that the Son of God cannot walk upon it and without sinking. Verse 26, And when the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were troubled, saying, It is a spirit, and they cried out for fear. How many times have we seen him on troubled seas and felt he was but a phantom of hope and still feared? Verse 27, and yet how many times have we heard and realized that there is no need of fear, that all things are possible to them that love him and trust him who dwells within. Verse 28, And Peter, who would ever demand proof and who was always sure of himself, said, Lord, if it be thou, bid me come unto thee on the water. Peter seemed very brave as long as he felt sure of support. Verse 29, And Jesus said, Come. And when Peter was come, down out of the ship, he walked on the sea to go to Jesus. Verse 30, But when he saw the wind boisterous, he was afraid, and began to sink. He cried, saying, Lord, save me. Verse 31, And immediately Jesus stretched forth his hand, caught him, and said unto him, O thou of little faith, Whereof didst thou doubt? We need not fear. No sea can overcome us if we depend on the Master. If we understand the power which may be ours, we are weak and faith forsakes us when all is turmoil and strife. Verse 32, And when they come to the ship, the wind ceased. When we depend on him, when we take his hand, which is the power of truth and right, the winds will cease. The true faith will always prevail over the strifes and cares and fears. Verse 34, And when they were gone over, they came into the land of Gennesaret. Verse 35, And when the men of that place had knowledge of him, they sent out into all the country round about and brought unto him all that were diseased, 
Herein is faith. They knew that the Christ was in their midst, that he had come to them, for they had knowledge of him. Verse 36, And besought him that they might only touch the hem of his garment, and as many as touched were made perfectly whole. True knowledge, though at first small, even the hem of his garment, will heal all evil, all diseases, all pain and grief and sorrow. Even though we cannot attain Christhood until we overcome all evil, yet the touch or the acceptance of his truth will make us whole. Diseases and sin will leave us, for we know how we are cleansed. Thank you for watching, and please don't forget to share, like, subscribe, and comment. And if you can, please consider donating to Wars of the Rosies. Links to PayPal and Patreon are in the description. Thank you so very much.